there's some tech out there that's like, oh my god, I love that it exists. I never thought of it. Wi-Fi, but light. And um, by the looks of it, it's pink. Abra, Cadabra. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Not the right piece in Charlotte, I'm sorry to tell you. Says China, do we know where it's made? It seems pretty st stuck on there. And then what you do, I'm not gonna do it, but you take off the adhesive covering on the back and you slide it on your phone. Big thumbs down, burn, burn, burn. Yes. But before we get into the episode, we just want to say, you know, mm -hmm. take care of yourself, guys. It's getting hot in Europe. Yep, like it's getting hot everywhere. So, so. just, you know, drink plenty of water, find plenty of shade, mm -hmm. and, you know, limit your sun exposure. Don't get a heat stroke, guys. Don't want anyone to have that. Okay, so let's get on with the rundown of the episode. We have Maz Up. What's All our Mazuma Maz offerings, mm -hmm. deals, sales, and a giveaway. Mm -hmm. So tune in for that. And also, Tech Today. Wireless signals. So, mm -hmm. you know. What's going on? That was so awkward. <laughs> yeah. And well, then this... we have what's in the box. So we have a few cute um, trinkets, items. All for your phone. All for your phone. And um, if you guys are interested in that, head on over to what's in the box as well. It's pretty cute, I'd say. Maz up time. All mm -hmm. that Mazuma awesome goodness. Uh huh. Head on over to our website and check out our Suns Out Deals Out promo. And we also have our Suns Out Prizes out promo. Now, what like are we giving one. away? I like this one. The S10 from last season. Yes, guys, we are giving away a Samsung S10. So if you want to join, head on over to the description. Also, for rules on how to join. Mm -hmm. And we also have Mazuma Wi Fi up to 64,000. Nope, million. <laughs> oh, million. Yeah, there you go. 64 million <laughs> different hotspot points. So, hotspot Wi Fi points. There yeah, you go. <laughs> that's crazy. That's huge. If Think you're looking to travel, million. maybe get yourself this ahead of time. Yes, if you're a traveler, if you're a foreign exchange student, and you're just, you know, if you're going around the globe, lucky you. And also, I'm pretty sure you need Wi Fi. So, go ahead <laughs> and check that out on our website as well. So let's get into tech today. Tech two right. day. This one, there's certain tech out there that's like, oh mm -hmm. my God, I love that it exists. I never thought of it. And some it's like, I yes. never thought of it and I, I don't it. want it back. I don't want it. Oh, okay. Single use power banks. Did you know that's a thing? What is the point? What is the point? There's like emergency situations, but just have a rechargeable power bank. I don't get yeah, that. Yeah, and also once it's used, you throw it yeah, away. Yeah, there's no way to charge it. And it goes to the landfill. Yeah, why? I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't like it either. Big thumbs down. Bang, bang, bang. Yes. You fire it. Like, I really like this. I don't know if we have the budget to continue I love, doing this. I love my editor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Li-Fi. Not new, but what it is. Have you heard of it? It's like Wi-Fi, but light. From a light source. Yeah, from a <laughs> light bulb. Yeah, really. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little weird. At first you think like, what, why are you going to use that, right? But there are some use cases. Mm -hmm. Hospitals with sensitive uh, uh, equipment that really can't handle all those radio signals. Mm -hmm. Or if you're an adult who has kids uh -huh. and you want to monitor their, you know, internet time, well, yeah. if they have the light on, it's like they're using internet. Lights off, Wi-Fi off. Exactly. Okay, understandable. Yeah, I like that one. All right, Ubuntu. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, Sub shoot of uh, mm -hmm. Linux. Linux, you know, Windows, yeah, yeah, Apple, yeah. OS, all that. So Ubuntu tried to remove some old architecture and just move forward with the 64-bit process. Okay. And then Steam, this multi-billion dollar corporation that yeah. sells games, is like, hey, we kind of need those. And if you're not going to include them, mm -hmm. well, we're not going to support you. And Ubuntu is like, OK, fine. We'll keep some of them. Okay. You know, it's like I appreciate wanting to move forward and shed some old stuff, but you kind of need them with text so you can reference and That's go back true. to older programs. Mm -hmm. So, you know. So, Raspberry Pi 4, you're going to see some some video Ooh, here of, of what's going on with this. But what it is, is, yeah, you've heard of it, right? It's 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 a tiny, itty bitty computer. Instead of trying to make this super awesome, most powerful, expensive item, they went the opposite way and went like, what's the most we can put onto a small yeah. piece of tech? I love that this is like, Portable. Yeah, right? You, know? you can have a portable like, computer in your pocket. Like, especially um, techie guys that need this and they travel a lot for work. 
I mean, they could just bring it with them. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and like, you're getting insane power out of this thing. Like, you can get um, a, a decent, not amazing, but a decent, you know, web Good browsing, enough. a web browsing experience. It's mostly for like doing quick little uh, mechanics, like having a smart home through mm -hmm. this little computer. You can get two screens, 4K resolution out of this little baby. It's like. So, two screens, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Something so tiny. Yeah, I'm looking forward to like a couple generations where it's like super and it gives you like a basic good web browsing experience. I would, I mean, you could buy those for your kids and if they break it, what, $55 for the most expensive yeah, one so right now? Yeah, it's so cheap too. Yeah. It's so affordable. Yeah. That's the mind blowing yeah, part. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I want one. McCormick. We talk mm -hmm. about tech, but this the is spices. McCormick. The spice company. Yeah, yeah. They decided to make a grill and a DJ station combo. <laughs> Let's just hope they don't make the mistake of going like this on the grill. No, no, no. There's no, there's no actual DJ station. Yeah, it's just, it's just it, like speakers. It's just music, yeah. And like then that. they have LEDs on it. You know what? I That's want pretty it. cool. That's Actually, pretty cool. Yeah. You know, you know how there's always that one uncle cooking by the grill singing to himself? Now he has some he's music. Gonna, yeah, he's going to enjoy yeah. this so much. I love it. I want it. You know, just awesome barbecue with your friends. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so Oppo, the phone company, mm -hmm. they've created something called Mesh Talk. It's in development mm. and it's gonna use hardware on their newer phones and you have to you know, use a different Oppo phone to connect to an Oppo phone. Okay. But what it is, is it allows you to uh, send data without Wi-Fi, cellular, or um, Bluetooth. Oh, so, like oh if you, so it just sends. Yeah, you can go up to three kilometers away from each other and still send data to each other. But still, that's three kilometers is still pretty far. Yeah. Like if you were three kilometers away, I wouldn't really see you anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Well, with my bad eyes. <laughs> there you go. And so it's like, you know, an awesome way of like, if you're in a crowded situation or yeah. like you're in an area, like in a new country and you don't have Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. you know, there you go. Perfect alternative. Cool. Good job, Oppo. But if you're a traveler and you're looking for some cell phone signal, you know, check out uh, the Zuma Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Good job there, James. <laughs> okay, now time for what's in the box. We have this four. is the box, <laughs> but again, what's in the box? All right, so let's start with that side. This one is a light-up phone case. I really now, don't know how it works. Yeah, I'm really curious. We haven't tested it out before, and it's in really cheap how much, plastic. How much is it? It's um, $2.88 and roughly two pounds. Roughly, roughly, roughly. Anyway, so very it's cheap. cheap. I'm not very expecting cheap. much out of this one. Um, these can sayonara, and then <laughs> this too. And um, by the looks of it, it's pink, and it's there's no lights though. It's cheap. How's it supposed to I be don't light get up? it either. Let's all right. Let's try it out. So okay. we have our Mazuma iPhone 6s Renew phone here. So mm -hmm. there's that. So let's try this out. It says it's a 6S. It fits. So it fits. Good fit. I like how there's bumps on the side. A little extra of... protection for fall. Um, how does it? There's no. Oh, do you turn on the flash? Well, I guess that's it. Can we get the <laughs> lights off to see how this looks like Can in the dark? Can we turn the lights yeah. off, guys? Thank you. I think with this thing, you do this and your, your flashlight is out. But if you cover it, maybe the entire phone lights up. All right, let's see what happens when we get this last light off. Abracadabra! <laughs> well, there you go. It's actually, a light up phone. Actually, to basically, yeah. yeah. But very cunning. Like very, you know, they thought they didn't. I well, I thought I was gonna get a light up phone case. What is this? I'm using my battery. What, what happens when you slide it out? Well, then you could use your flash like normal. Okay. But you still get kind of something in there. Kind of. And then you just cover it, and I guess the reflection just puts it within the phone. All right, if we can get the lights on, let's we're good. Put, let's put the lights back on, guys. So, uh, um, does anyone else feel betrayed? Actually, I don't. I don't. For what was it, like, under $3? Well, yeah, Yeah, like, with how cheap it is. And it's, like, it's just a... At the end of the day, it's still a phone case. It's a wrong marketing scheme, though. They're like, it's a light-up phone case. Yes. Because of my phone flashlight. I disagree. I like it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Yes. Yeah, so are you buying this or burning it? I'd buy. I'd buy. I would. Actually. Burning I just maybe change the pink color to something. <laughs> now keep the pink. Sure. <laughs> and then we have an iPhone ID touch button. Ew. Let's see this is, from my This phone. is 68 pounds. Or excuse me. 68 cents. And uh -huh. then 50, 50 pence. 50 pence. So super I mean, cheap. Look at, look, look at the original home button. It's silver. Uh -huh. And I think this one, you just kind of change it. So, okay, so it has a little bit of covering on the bottom. So hang on. 
Okay, so this is pretty cool. It's the color red. I guess if you have one of those red iPhones, it would look good. And it's hollow, right? There's nothing in there. Yeah, it's hollow. There's no screen, whatever. <laughs> um, it's it's just stuck to your phone. It does. Does it get in the way of doing you, you using your phone? Yes, I could feel it for sure. I could feel it. It's like like, like in responsiveness. The way. Does anything on this? Does it change? Yeah. It works. I mean, it doesn't stop you from using your phone. No. Um, but the thing is, you could feel it there. You you put it in your pocket. It's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna come off. Yeah. It's it's literally just a sticker. And that seems like a waste of everyone's time. <sighs> yeah. Big let's, waste. Let's let's not. Rudolph the red nose reindeer not, had a very shiny nose. It's not the right season, Carla. I'm sorry to tell oh, you. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't get you anything anyway. <laughs> and then we have here, um, this is just an adhesive pocket for your cell phone. It's $2 US and 150. That looks kind of useful. Actually, yeah. 150 yeah. pounds, or 150 pounds, a pound 50. Let's stick it on here. Okay. Ooh, it's like jelly. It's 3M okay. adhesive. 3M? No, just MM adhesive on the back. Says China, so we know where it's made. <laughs> And then we just stick it. There you go, plain and oh. simple. I wonder if it'll come off. It seems pretty st stuck on there. It's got a little bit of extra bulk in there, and if you put some money in there, do you think it would bother you and you wouldn't want to use it? Um, or are you the type of purse person that just puts their phone in the purse? No, I mean, if you're putting this on your phone, better expect it to have that, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, um, like, would it stop you from wanting to put it on there? No. Yeah, no. Actually, I, 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 like I would. It. I wouldn't mind putting like a bit of cash in there and just sticking it in. A card, maybe not. Yeah, no. It seems pretty. Um, it's made out of rubber, so it looks like the card would stick. Mm -hmm. But I won't risk. Yeah, it. I wouldn't risk. That I wouldn't one risk either. putting a card. Maybe but, a, a little bit of cash. You know. Yeah. Just like. And like $10, it really isn't like if you turn pounds. it to the side, it's really not that thick. So I wouldn't mind that little bit of extraness yeah. in my pocket. The rubber might. If you put it in your jeans, the rubber might get stuck on your pocket. Actually, a bit. why don't you try putting it in your pocket? I mean, you have pockets, right? Mm. It's all right. Yeah, there you it's go. Fine. Yeah. I like that one too. Same. Two out of three for me. Bye for me. <laughs> and lastly, we have U S A M S. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's Usmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's eleven thirty-nine U S. and something like nine nine pounds. Let's open it up. Come this, on. This one I'm actually excited for because it's called a dual lightning or dual lightning ring holder. Lightning, not lighting. Eh, I had that wrong. Oh, it's Usam's. So, what you wrong. do? <laughs> oh. This okay. is lightning, so let's start. Let's do it with our new phone, right? Why not? Yeah. Okay. So you plug in with lightning, and then what you do? I'm not going to do it, but you take off the adhesive covering on the back, and you slide it on your phone. And now you have a 360 angled ring holder. So when you're holding your phone, bam. And then also, even better, it has, uh, what is it, um, two lightning connectors on the side so you can charge and listen to music on your phone. I wonder if it works. Oh, okay, I see it. It's more for the iPhone 7 and above, the one that doesn't have the earphone yeah, jack actually, anymore. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because this earphone jack is the lightning cable. Yeah, so you have options. And, yeah. it, and it us utilizes the fact that you're using the lightning cable. I on the wonder bottom. if, in any way, it makes your phone charge slower. Ooh, does it have lightning? Let me check here. Uh, 2A current. Um, a little I, too bulky. It's for me. more on the power brick that matters, so I think it'd be fine. Okay. Um, in regards to the bulkiness. Yeah. For having the ring holder and the option to have. If you have this and you just stick it on. That is. <laughs> that's extra. That's a whole new beast there. That's extra. Actually, I really like this one. Yeah. I mean, I, I would, for me, being an Android user, I would want an Android version of that one with the USB. True, true. But really, I like that. I want that. Yeah, same. I guess I'll buy. So out of everything, we have four items. I'm good with three out of the four. Uh, this one is, well, what, what's it? Oh, this one's a no for you. Yeah, that one's, that one's my no. no for me too. And then you're not a fan of this one. No. So two for two for you. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below which one you guys prefer and if you would buy any of these.
And that is the end of episode three, season two for Mass TV. But before we go, we want to ask, you know, mm -hmm. 5G is now out there. Yes. You know, in certain places, and for those of you who have access to it, have you been using it? You know, did you want to switch oh, to it? Yeah, is there any huge difference between the recent one and 5G? Like, for any of you who have actually experienced it, yeah. is it something you're enjoying? Yeah, let us know in the comments below and we will reply to you guys. But that's the end of the episode. We'll mm -hmm. see you guys next week. Yes, I'm Carla. And I'm James. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and follow our social media pages. And check our website as well. 